you might be hearing the term franken merge llm more and more these days for example one of the famous llm this miku 120 billion is a franken merge of miku 70 billion and also some other models this was created by interleaving layers of miku 170 billion sf with itself using merge gate what exactly this franken merge is and what is franken merge llm is the topic of this video because i have been getting few questions around it so i thought of making an exclusive simple video in order to explain the difference between these two in general terms a franken merge refers to the process of combining two distinct entities into a new single one often in a way that's not standard or traditional this term franken evokes the image of frankenstein's monster which was created by assembling parts from various disparate sources in the context of large language models a franken merge refers to the merging of two or more separate ai models to create a new combined model this process typically involves taking the architecture and parameters and parameters could be weights biases etc of existing models and blending them together the aim is to leverage the strengths or specialized knowledge of each individual model to create a new model with a broader range of capabilities or improved performance the franken merge process can be quite complex because ai models have a vast number of parameters and it's often not clear what specific role each parameter plays merging models can involve a lot of trial and error and may use techniques such as averaging the parameters of models being merged or more sophisticated sophisticated methods like trim elect sign and merge ties or spherical linear interpolation or slurp the resulting merge model could in theory combine the general knowledge of one model with the niche technology of another in practice model merging is still a developing field and is mostly explored in hacking and experimental setting rather than in mainstream research or commercial application as the field is evolving tools like merge kit are being developed to facilitate this process i have done another video on merge kit but just to give you a quick idea as what exactly merge kit is let me take you to its website so this is a github repo of merge kit i have done a detailed video on merge kit but it is simply a utility tool that implements various model merging methods such as ties slurp and linear averaging to combine ai models installation of merge kit is very simple all you need to do is to just grab the url of this repo git clone it cd to their directory and install all the prerequisites and then make sure that you are using the correct pip and python version once that's done you can simply start merging it and merging process is also quite interesting and let's do it in another video because in this one i just want to focus on the franken merge and all of uh, the types of it so just to finish this off there are three methods of merging in the franken merge models normally one is slurp slurp stands for uh, spherical linear interpolation slurp is a method that finds a midpoint between the parameters of two models treating them as points on a spherical space for smoother blend and then we have ties method ties stands for trim elect sign and merge which is a technique that identifies and selectively merges only the most relevant parameters from different models ignoring the rest so these are the two common methods which i have seen if you are aware of any other model let me know and i'll i'll be happy to review it now having said that adding in layers from a different model after the layers from the first have passed provides an opportunity for biases in the second model to conflict with the first model and could push a token choice that wouldn't otherwise have been considered into sampling ranges if such a token is then selected as a result the next token needs to be built off a token that would otherwise have never been chosen and may react in such a way that the second model would never have done so these sort of complexities are there when it comes to the resultant model after the franken merge also for example for the models stacked with themselves rather than a different fine tune it mostly just provide some smart temperature 
where seemingly valid token options are given more time to raise in logit possibilities also they of course have every possibility to not to be a good option in reality but often they work out in a creatively interesting way if chosen and that is the case with this miku one also it's a large boost to creativity at the cost of having some chance to derail and fail to recover in a way that is correct the model is more random or in other words creative and more able to stumble into the correct answer for complex situation as additional tokens can be brought into consideration but is more able to derail itself and that is why i have seen and this is just a personal opinion that most of these frankenberg are nsfw or not safe for work models and you have to treat them carefully for example mixtrol has a strong tendency to be very confident in its token probability at times suggesting that if either expert is particularly confident the other expert will basically concede rather than trying to add other token possibilities and then there are lot of other uh, nuisance and weird things which happens with it now if you're talking about stuff like for example a model like solar it is not just merge it is also trained on top so as i said that there are lot of variations in this uh, for example straight fraken merges with no training tend not to be very smart for example uh, there are few models which really throws it out of the park and they are fraken merge like noromade 20 billion and goliath for example they have ex- wonderful pros and later even can do dialogue exceptionally well but if you start doing logic with them not really that good i would say but these are simply my observation on my own testing so i think usually fraken merges just have more randomness in their output but in a good way when they answer factual answers they may say something wrong and made something up from thin air so they hallucinate way more so that is why i say that they are not really good nsfw they are they are nsfw and not really suited for your professional work environment for but for role play for private plug and play and fun they are awesome in my opinion and franken merges usually do really good at creative process so if you are looking for story writing role play as i said go for it that's it guys let me know what do you think about franken merges what is your experience if you have any share them in the comments as i'm very very keen to know different point of view around franken merges because i have seen that some people are very very attached to their franken merges especially when it comes to role play private and local so if you have any please share it in the comments i'm very keen to know and learn because it's an evolving field that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any uh, questions please ask if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching